Unfortunately, in the wake of all these major overhauls, I came to an unfortunate conclusion. This game kinda ugly. Okay, granted, maybe ugly isn't the right word, but everyone upon seeing the game has pretty much the same reaction. Oh, it's Minecraft. Yeah, look, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's Minecraft. Minecraft. Yeah, guys, definitely Minecraft. The whole thing looks like a Minecraft clone. Not even that, it looks like a bad Minecraft clone. And that's not what I want people to think when they look at this game. Not to mention, the pixel art textures, though fine for a big, non-competitive, exploration-based game like Minecraft, do not work in an FPS context. I, I mean, there's a reason why all the Minecraft PvP texture packs turn the blocks to largely solid colours. At a distance, everything just blurs into a big, massive grain, which makes it harder to recognise enemy players, and is also terrible for YouTube video compression, which irritates me, frankly. So I took the game's entire visual design back to the drawing board and I started by thinking about colour. I started with two primary pillars, distinguishing the player from the world and making the player's team affiliation clear. I designed a palette of saturated reds and blues for use with the players and a series of more desaturated tones to use as a basis for the environment. I did some basic testing, mapping solid colours directly to blocks and placing a player avatar for comparison. Satisfied, I moved on to texturing. I wanted to steer away from the old pixel art look for aforementioned reasons, but I found it difficult. I didn't want blocks to just be a solid colour, simply because that's boring, but it seemed impossible for me to add any small details without ultimately coming upon the same problems of the world merging into a horrible grain at any distance. Textures were simply too small in real terms when tiled across so many blocks. If only there was some way that I could make textures spread across multiple blocks instead. Oh, hang on a second, I'm making the game! I can do what I want! I am the god of build fight game and you're all my subject! Anyway, I made a shader so that uh, textures now map to a 3x3x3 tile area instead of just having one per block. Look at this cool grass pattern. Uh, game looks better now, I think. 